Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this Monday, January 3rd, Public Meeting Board of County Commissioners. I want to welcome everybody in town and everybody watching online. If you would please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Commissioner will give you a pledge. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good vow, people, and prayer. Precious love of Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you today. Just thank you for all that you've done for us in the past year, and then we look forward to coming here, Lord. We look forward to your guidance and direction. We ask not only in this meeting, but for the entire year. So, so, Lord, Lord we, just we just praise you, you Lord, by you, and give thanks, thanks for all that you do for us. We, we do all this in my most precious holy name. Amen. Please be seated. 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 Mr. Nolan, any additions, please change the public, public meeting agenda. agenda? No, sir, sir, no, no. Here, 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 no, we, have we have a motion for approval of public meeting agenda. agenda. So, so, we have a second. Second. Motion second. 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 Second.
you have any questions for me at this point? Good looking doll. Yeah. <laughs> Could you tell us about your doll? Um, sure. Her name's Elvira. I want to bring her up on <laughs> You said she was entailed, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> her name's Elvira. Uh, she's two and a half years old. And we actually do have one other um, search dog as well. She just officially certified, what, two months ago? Um, and she's a half sister of Elvira as well. Um, a Labrador as well. So she's a Labrador retriever. Elvira's two and a half years old. Oakley is one and a half years old. Does it live with you? Mm -hmm. You're the handler? Yes. And Oakley lives with my brother, Justin. And he mm -hmm. is. Now, yep. Not not to drag out, but what, what kind of training do they have to be certified? I mean, do they? I'm just curious what all kinds of. So basically, uh, they're trained in uh, tracking using using like an article, like a set article. Oh. Um, so that's what they're trained in. So if we had a missing person, we would obtain some kind of set article for that person. And if we had a general idea of like direction of travel and so on and so forth, we could put the dog in the right direction. And where will this team be headquartered then? Well, uh, many of the members and the bulk of the members and equipment is at Bittinger Fire Department. See, it looks like the Bittinger Fire Brigade here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there's a lot of members that belong to other companies. As I say, they're adopted by the chief of those individual companies so they can use their apparatus or whatever we may need. And it's it's something that we really need for some time. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we do have utility police dogs, uh, which could be used, but it's much easier and better to use like a air scent dog, uh, article type dog, because you can cover a much larger area than a bloodhound, and bloodhounds are very good at what they do, but sometimes their track's a little bit more narrow. But, they, maybe you said it and I missed it, do they have like ATVs and equipment? And yes, uh, we have ATVs. We have a, quite a few companies that have side to top, side by sides. But there's, uh, we keep identifying additional needs uh, for special operations. But again, that's something I, you know, work with the county in the budget process. Any other questions? Well, we appreciate uh, you guys' commitment. Uh, one of many familiar faces in here do a lot uh, in a lot of different ways so we appreciate that and uh, with that why don't we bring everybody up John and we'll get a picture with the paper and uh, go from there can we set the dog up on the counter I, think, I, we put him, I thought we put him on Commissioner Heimball's lap <laughs> I like dogs I do too you're not used to big ones like that. You got those yeah, I got a chihuahua. Uh, it's not going to search much. <laughs> do you want us uh, behind you and let the dog sit in front? Or do you want us to kneel in front and take what? one leg? Take, I don't probably know. take one leg. Our professional photographer. What, yeah, what, what would be the best way? Um, you know, let's keep the dog right front and center. Put um, everyone else back? or Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do everyone else in the back. You want me to place I'm serious. We can set the dog up here. It'll set. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. You all, right? Good? all right. You okay? Yep. Larry's been tripping people. Yeah, watch out. Watch the stuff. I did it real well. That's it. Come on. Right there is. Sorry, everybody. Get out there. Sit. Shift over. Get Blake. Yeah. Blake. Listens better than Larry does. Let me know if she moves. <laughs> and let's give her a try on three. One's looking over. Two, three. Don't make a sound for her. <laughs> she was actually going this way. Click. Let's try to get one more. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
dog could help me find a deer if I wanted it, probably couldn't. Well, <laughs> technically not supposed to, but you probably could. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> technically, <laughs> you're not supposed to. All right, uh, last uh, item on the public meeting agenda. We are going to uh, introduce a resolution today. Uh, on behalf of our friends uh, from Queen Anne's County, uh, when we were at uh, MACO in December uh, at the Rural County Coalition meeting, uh, our partners on the Eastern Shore asked uh, other parts of the state to uh, talk about the bridge replacement for the Chesapeake Bay Bridge uh, and support them in their efforts uh, to, to keep basically where it's at. If you follow this at all, uh, the governor looked at maybe placing a, a bridge somewhere else, doing some things. The bridge is old. It, it was built for a 50 year uh, lifespan. Uh, the old bridge uh, is now 70 years old, so it's obviously beyond that. The, the new bridge uh, is 50 years old, so it's at, at uh, its life expectancy. Once those bridges were built, all the infrastructure that went with it was placed in one particular area, obviously where it crossed the bridge. So all the traffic coming over, they built that infrastructure out to accommodate that traffic. So if that bridge would move uh, to a different county uh, that's rural like ours, you're gonna be shoving all that traffic into small two lane roads that aren't built for that. So it does make sense to keep it where it is. Anne Arundel County is on board with this. Obviously that's where the bridge crosses on the Western shore. Uh, Queen Anne's uh, County and uh, Kent County uh, and the other counties on the shore are on board with this as well. They specifically asked for a resolution uh, to that point uh, on their behalf. So uh, if my partners agree, uh, we are going to uh, pass a resolution in support of a replacement bridge at current crossing of the William Preston Lane Jr. Memorial Bridge, otherwise known as the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. The original two-lane span opened in 1952 as the world's longest continuous overwater steel structure, and a parallel span was added in 1973, and these two spans are the Bay Bridge in place today. The five lanes of the Bay Bridge that currently cross the Bay uh, have not been adequate to effectively manage peak period traffic for many years and the existing bridges were designed for a 50-year life and with the eastbound span now nearly 70 years old the westbound span nearly 50 years old maintenance needs and functional traffic management have become more challenging and expensive as the bridges age beyond the original design intent and future maintenance projects will have a significant detrimental impact on available bridge capacity and operations the only viable solution to eliminate the bottleneck caused by the Bay Bridge capacity constriction is to expeditiously align previous transportation investments and other route improvements with the new replacement bridge and functional mainline approach roadways that are compatible and have adequate capacity to safely move traffic on US 5301 corridor. Communities in both Anne Arundel and Queen Anne's counties will continue to experience the impact of increased traffic volume and delays during the multi-tier two process as the current Bay Bridge remains in a constant state of maintenance and rehabilitation. Therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Garrett County Commissioners of Garrett County, Maryland, that it hereby finds that the best solution to maintain forward progress support the investments already made along the U.S. Route 5301 corridor, specifically from I-97 to Maryland 404, and address the existing and future traffic capacity shortfalls is to replace the current two spans of Chesapeake Bay Bridge with a single new replacement bridge constructed at the same location that includes a minimum of eight travel lanes to provide adequate capacity and dependable and reliable travel times. And be it further resolved that the Board of County Commissioners hereby request that the Tier 1 Chesapeake Bay Crossing Study be concluded and that sufficient resources be allocated for the Tier 2 Chesapeake Bay Bridge uh, Crossing Study. And be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution will be sent to the Board of County Commissioners of Queen Anne's County for further action. Do we have a motion to adopt said resolution? Make the motion to adopt the resolution. We have a motion, we have a second. Second. Motion and a second, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Resolution passes. And uh, Mr. Nall, I'll turn it back over to you to uh, summarize the conversation you had today with the health department for the COVID update. Uh, yes, sir, and Mr. Frank, if I miss anything, please jump in. 
<clears throat> so we, we did have a uh, conference call with the health department early, earlier today, so I can report some statistics. Um, the seven-day positivity rate for the county is 5.1%. That compares with the state average today of 29%, so we're below the state average. Our case rate is uh, 74 per 100,000, and the state rate is 200 per 100,000, um, so tremendously higher. Uh, our vaccination rate is, stands at 53.4%. There was six people in the hospital with COVID-related uh, symptoms, uh, and I think there was 95, a total of 95 deaths reported in the county since the uh, start of, of the COVID. Uh, point of reference is that you know, we typically lag three to four weeks behind the rest of the state. So downstate, they are seeing uh, this increase and uh, so we're probably a couple weeks away. I think another interesting point was that the, um, while a lot of, even downstate, a lot of what they're seeing is not necessarily the Omicron virus, it's the, still the Delta virus that's, uh, that's causing the hospitalization. Not to say that the Omicron is not, not uh, prevalent, but uh, that's not what they're seeing from the hospitalization rate. Um, and again, I think that, uh, you know, we're two to three weeks behind, uh, so we're yet probably to see the worst of, of the virus. Um, uh, Bob did recommend certainly uh, testing, uh, vaccinations, a booster shot, and masking. So uh, that's, that's kind of where we, where we had. Did I miss anything? Yeah, the only thing I would add to that is if people are interested in testing or getting a booster or getting their first vaccine, go to the Garrett County Health Department's website yes. um, and they can schedule. Yeah, and, and uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. When I was talking to Bob last week, uh, the phone lines had some challenges with the health department, but they, they were able to get things online. So if you're interested in making an appointment, uh, you can do that. There's a button right on the website now that you can click to make an appointment for that. And I'm sorry, one more thing to add. And then if people are, uh, don't have a computer available to them or they have challenges with using a computer, they can call the hotline and someone from the health department staff Will help them register. All right. All right, just a couple of announcements before we take any other uh, public comments or questions. The next uh, scheduled public meeting will be here Tuesday, January the 18th. Um, anything, anybody got anything else? Are there any questions or comments from the audience? Hearing none, I want to thank you guys again uh, for for what you do and uh, the new Swift uh, or not Swift Water Rescue Search and Rescue team. Uh, appreciate that. It's going to be a valuable asset to our community. So, with that, if nobody has anything else, we'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Meeting adjourned. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate it, Gary. Thank you, sir.